Hello and welcome. In this screencast we will show you how to integrate JFrog XRE with your continuous integration servers like Jenkins or TeamCT to prevent vulnerable components from being promoted across repositories in JFrog Artifactory. JFrog XRE is a universal component analysis tool. It realizes the component graph of the artifacts in JFrog Artifactory and recursively scans them for properties you care about, such as security vulnerabilities, license compliant, component obsolescence, and more. As you can see in the diagram, JFrog XRA is built around the concept of a universal component graph. Components of different types, Docker images, Debian and RPM packages, NuGet, Java and NPM archives, or even zip and targz file included in each other like a Russian doll. But discovery, it's only half the story. Now we need to act to prevent the bad components from getting into software we ship. Some tools try to firewall the developers from even getting those components by forcing them to approve the components they want to work with. Our experience shows that this is inefficient. A long and tedious approval process discourages the developers, reducing their productivity and eventually they always find a way to sneak in the component they feel can help them to do their job. A more programmatic approach is to tackle the problem in the CI server. And that's a win-win. From one side the process is not standing in the way of developers creativity and allow them to use whatever components they feel necessary. From the other, if the builds are as often as they should be, the remediation is frequent enough from preventing a lot of work to be done around the vulnerable component. This is where the extra integration with the CI server comes to the rescue. X-Ray helps you to identify and act upon the discovery of vulnerable component. First, the developer adds a new component. Regardless of the component's quality, it is resolved and the developer can use it without interruption. Remember, don't stay in the developer's way. If the developer uses JFrog plugin for their IDE, they will be warned about these component issues like vulnerabilities and license compliant and might choose some safer alternatives. If the plugin is not used or the developer chooses to continue developing using this component regardless of the warnings, soon enough they will commit their code to the source control system. CI servers like Jenkins or TeamCity check out the code and builds it. After the build is complete, the components are deployed to Artifactory. Xray kicks in and scans the component reporting the results back to the CI server. The CI server then acts accordingly, failing the build if one of the components is vulnerable or letting it complete, allowing promoting the components to a clean repository in Artifactory. After the promotion is complete, the build is successfully finished and the cleared components are now in clean repository in Artifactory, available for next steps in the pipeline. So, let's get to business. We will use Jenkins as our CI server, but before we fire up a build, let's set up our first watch in X-Ray. After giving it a name, we will need to select a watch type. We will watch a build. Next, we specify the Artifactory instance and select a build to watch in it. Adding the description is helpful. Next, we can filter the files to be scanned using different parameters. We want to scan all the files. Also, we can specify a minimum severity to watch for. Again, we want them all. Now, let's add an action. You can choose between sending an email, triggering a webhook, which basically means call the REST API of any system, or enable CI integration. That's our pick. Now we can go back to Jenkins and fire up a build. We set it up in a way so the failure of the build will be configurable. While it runs, let's see how we did it. That's Jenkins pipeline configuration. You can see how we configured the pipeline using the DSL elements provided by Artifactory Jenkins plugin. Please refer to the plugin documentation, which URL you can see on the screen, for a full syntax of the DSL. The build includes the ordinary steps like setup, dependency resolution and build. After the deploy step, our build will perform the X-ray scan. X-ray returns an object that contains the results of the scan. Based on the build configuration and the results of the scan, we decide to fail the build or to let it propagate to the next step. 
the build either fails with an error or continues to the promotion. Since we wanted the build to fail on invulnerability and we have a vulnerable components in the component we built, the build fails during X-ray scan phase, as expected. Examining the logs show the details of the scan and the resolution. Promotion was skipped and the build failed. Back to X-ray, we see new alert. That's our build. The component screen has our failed build on top. In a critical state and with the list of the all vulnerabilities found. In this demo we use Jenkins at a CI server, but the same can be achieved with TeamCity. That concludes our Jeffrog XR screencast. For more information, visit us at jeffrog.com to find more screencasts, articles, white papers, more documentation, contact information, and information about events where you can meet Jeffrog.